Hello and welcome back. This video is not financial advice and always do your own research. The VSC mainnet is live and to celebrate, I'm doing a three part tutorial series to show you guys how to do everything within this awesome ecosystem. In part one, we went over how to buy VSG, how to bridge and how to swap tokens. Now in today's video, this is part two. We're gonna be diving into all of the different updates regarding this ecosystem. And we're also gonna be talking about how to add and remove liquidity as well as how to stake your VSG tokens. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the video to see what's going on. Since part one of this tutorial series, the Vector Smart Chain has officially launched and there has been quite a few different updates that have happened since my last video. One of which is the VSG token is now available on weeks and they did have a pretty cool event. Now this event is wrapping up, but it started on December 30th through January 12th, and there was 1.6 million VSG tokens in rewards. Then one week ago, MEXC did announce that VectorCoin VSG was being listed for trade on their platform. Now trading did open on January 5th, but that overall is exciting stuff. This listing on MEXC is pretty big. It's gonna be bringing in more trading volume and new holders. In other news from VSC Wire, we have this article from January 7th, L Bank integrates VSC and lists the VSG token. So hot off the heels of the MEXC integration with the Vector Smart Chain, now L Bank will now be listing the native VSG token. And this is starting deposits on January 8th and trading started a few days ago on January 9th. So between MEXC and L Bank, this is just a massive news. There has been other major news with the mainnet launch. This brings the opportunity for tokens to be launched on chain. And here we have the first launch on the VSC was Zeta AI. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This did launch on December 30th. And within 24 hours of the launch, they did reach a massive $9 million market cap just within a few hours. Since the mainnet went live, we also saw successful launches from the likes of Ted and Cuban. Now, all of this information can be found over here on VSC Wire. This is where you can find the latest Vector Smart Chain news. So we have this article here from January 6th. Zeta, AI, Ted, and Cuban launched successfully. We can see some brief descriptions on each one. So Zeta AI was the first launch on the Vector Smart Chain. They are also the only full utility project on chain. This was launched on December 30th, and they did reach an all-time high of a whopping $44 million. So very, very impressive. All in all, the chart looks very nice. Additionally, Zeta AI has now performed a token burn of the value of 21 million VSG tokens, roughly $115,000 worth at the time. We also saw the first ever meme coin that was launched on the Vector Smart Chain, and that was TED. You can see the chart here. It was essentially a fair launch. We can see a quote here. We had a successful launch over 200x in the first day. Then we had Cuban with the token ticker SAND. This was the third launch on the VSC and Cuban is the first Telegram trade bot for the Vector Smart Chain. The SAND token is also a meme coin. Many people love Cuban sandwiches, which is also the official VSC mascot. Cuban did a fair launch with a two hour window where it could launch and it ultimately launched at the end of this window and buys absolutely flew in. You can see the chart here. And here we have a quote from the Cuban team. The chart speaks for itself. We will be the first $1 billion project on the VSC chain, period. Now let's go ahead and head into the next article. We have 3.1 million VSG burn, the first VSG pool burn. This was the first ever burn of pooled VSG and it is now complete. This burn performed over several hours, totaled 3.1 million VSG, roughly about $10 thousand dollars there is a new accumulation challenge this is going on over the next 30 days and the top two new wallets that accumulate the most vsg within 30 days wins and you may be wondering what's the prize well it's an all exclusive trip to the uk to meet the vsg racing team and that includes meeting yan himself who is one of their drivers really really cool stuff here flights hotels and transfers will all be covered and you'll get a day with the team at the park track and enjoy an evening meal at the end of the day. So you can read more about this here on VSC Wire by clicking announcements. Next up, they did have a burn party where they had a few extra guests. You can go ahead and watch the replay here. This burn party was an X space that happened today at the time of recording and they had special guests 
from their three OG tokens. The next bit of news we'll talk about is the V wallet. This was initially delayed from the VSC launch day, but I for one am super stoked to get my hands on this wallet. Now for my part three of this tutorial series, we are gonna be diving deep into the V wallet so I can show you guys all of the ins and outs so you can be prepared to take advantage of that. Now that we've gone over all the latest vector news, we are now gonna talk about staking. You can now stake on the VSC dashboard. This is what it's going to look like upon arrival again you can find this link down in the description box and in this dashboard you can see a few different pieces of key information about vector you can see the current price on chain supply total supply stake supply etc all this information here for you you can go ahead and check out my wallet staking bridge and governance now in my previous video we went over the bridge so if you need help with that go ahead and refer to the previous video. To get involved with staking, you are first gonna need to go ahead and connect your wallet. For me, I personally use MetaMask, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and select connect. And just like that, your wallet is now connected. So by clicking here over on staking, we can see staked, pending rewards, undelegated, etc., And we can see all of the different validators that are listed here. Each one is exactly the same at the current point. Each one has a max of 20% and a daily change of 1%. So you wanna get involved with any of these, it's as simple as clicking the specific staking pool and you'll go ahead and delegate. Once you hit delegate, you're gonna enter the amount that you would like to get delegate and then you can go ahead and confirm that transaction. So for this example here, let's go ahead and type in 500,000 VSG tokens. For the memo, we'll go ahead and write first stakes just for fun, you can also leave this blank if you'd like. Then it's gonna go ahead and send that transaction over to the side, you can see transfer request, and we can go ahead and read all this and then click confirm. Once you do confirm, it'll take just a second and you'll see transaction successful and we have the transaction hash here. And by pressing the transaction hash, it will reroute us to the Explorer. We can see more information here. As you can see, the token transfer was successful. And now by looking at this screen, we can see staked amount 500,000 VSG, as well as the current dollar amount staked with one validator and you see pending rewards, which obviously this will update as time goes on. And if we wanted to go ahead and withdraw our rewards, we can do so here on the top right hand corner. Just as an example here, I'm gonna go ahead and click withdraw rewards just so you guys can see how it's gonna look. Withdraw rewards, currently it's barely anything, just 0.008 VSG. We'll go ahead and put in the memo for stake, click confirm. Now, obviously, this is going to eat $4 worth of gas fees in order to withdraw this reward. So pulling out this little of the reward doesn't really make sense. But we're just doing this for video's sake, just so you guys see that everything is up and functional. One important thing to note for undelegations, if you're trying to unstake your initial investment, there is a 21-day lock period before you are able to fully withdraw your funds. Here's an example of what it will look like if you are unstaking your initial. It will give you a completion date and you can come back and withdraw it at that time. Next up, we are heading over to vscdex.io. They recently redesigned this and it looks very professional and nice. Trade smarter, faster, and safer with VSC Dex. Low fees, high speed, secure, transparent, and user-friendly interface. And all you have to do is press launch app we can head on over to the DEX. Once you launch the app, we can go ahead and choose Network, ETH, Kronos, BSC, Shibarium, Polygon, Avalanche, Vector Smart Chain, as well as Vector Testnet. So we're gonna go ahead and press Vector Smart Chain and then MetaMask. It's gonna send us over here. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my wallet now. Just like that, our wallet is now connected and we can see all of the different tokens that are on chain. A lot of these we talked about before, but there are some newcomers. We have a different VSC, which is very small cock. You also have Rocket, Hero, Dash, and Death Note. So a couple of tokens that have now launched on chain. Now in the previous video, we went all over how to swap. So if you're looking for that, go ahead and check the previous video. What we didn't cover, however, is how to add liquidity. By heading over to the pool section, we can then click add liquidity. And we have this information here. When you add liquidity, you will receive pool tokens representing your positions. These tokens automatically earn fees proportional to your share of the pool. It can be redeemed at any time. We can go ahead and make a pair for any one of these. I would recommend sticking to the big names though. So for this example, let's say we were trying to add liquidity for Zeta. We can go ahead and let's say we were adding 1 million VSG tokens. 
we would also have to add 1.4 million of these Zeta tokens. And by adding this liquidity, you would be earning 0.74% share of the pool. Now I'm actually switching over to the vector testnet just so I can give you guys a live example so you can see what it's going to look like. Now this process is the exact same, so no worries there. For this example, we are adding liquidity for the get money token. This was a testnet token. So now we can see the VSG and get money tokens that we are going to deposit. And then once everything looks good, we can click confirm supply. We'll just wait a few moments and confirm this over on the side. And then just a few moments later, we can see that the token deposit was accepted. Now, once you hit the back arrow, you will see under your liquidity, you'll see your active liquidity pair, and you can go ahead and manage that. The drop-down menu shows your total pool tokens, the total VSG, and total of whatever liquidity token you are provided, as well as your pool share. And from there, you can actually add or remove additional liquidity. Now let's do one more quick example. Let's say we're wanting to add liquidity to a second token on chain. For this example, we're doing the pickle token. Again, this was a testnet token. We have our 22,000 BSG and our 653 pickle. We're gonna go ahead and confirm this supply. And just like that, it is now accepted. And we can see now two different liquidity pairs that we can go ahead and manage by adding or removing liquidity from either of those. So for fun, let's say we wanted to add liquidity to this pickle VSG liquidity pair. We're gonna wanna get ourselves some more pickles. So first we'll head over to the swap and go ahead and swap here for 10,000 pickle tokens. We'll go ahead and swap that. And once that is confirmed, we're gonna head back over to our pool. Now that we have our pickle tokens, we're gonna head to manage and add liquidity. As you can see here, the current share is 0.29%. But now let's go ahead and put 10,000 pickle tokens with an additional 383,000 VSG. This will now give us 4.4% of the pool. So we're gonna go ahead and confirm. And now by going back to your liquidity, we can now see the updated numbers. Here with pickle, we now have a total of 4.7% of the pool share. And then for the get money example, we have less than 0.01% of the pool share. The last bit of information we're gonna be talking about in this video is where you can go to check out the charts for all of the new tokens that launch on chain. This is Define.Fi and they have charts for all of the different blockchains really, but in particular, we're here for the VSC. So let's go ahead and check out just a few charts here. First, searching for XTA Zeta.AI. Right now sitting at a market cap of 19.4 million, 380K in liquidity, and the total supply sitting at 10 billion. You can see over the past 12 hours up about 8%. Next up, quickly taking a look at Cuban. We can see here Sand Cuban. Go ahead and click here. We can see right now sitting at a market cap of 1.6 million. Very nice looking chart. You can tell there was quite a bit of a pump. And then you have a few people taking profits. Nothing wrong with that. But that's it. That's how you go ahead and check any chart here on the VSC. Also, when you're using Defined, if you go to the top right, you can actually select Vector as the chain. So here we have that sand chart. If we click Vector, we can actually check out all of the different coins that have been launched on the VSC. By sorting these Vector tokens by 24-hour change, we see a new arrival, Space Rodents SR token ticker up 2,000% for the last day, pretty cool. Current market cap sitting at 8.9K. As far as the top dogs, XTA sitting at 19.3, Sand Cuban at two, Wrapped VSG at one, Ted sitting at 945K, Death Note at 700K, and a few others below a half million. So lots of exciting stuff going on here with the Vector Smart Chain. And if you do wanna check out any of these charts again, go ahead and head on over to define.fi. Now, with that being said, that about wraps it up for this VSG video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and comment down below with your thoughts or if you have any additional questions. As always, this video is not intended to be financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor and investing in cryptocurrency can be risky. So always do your own research. Be sure to check the description box down below for all of the VSG links. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time.